what you'll need is two resistors uh, one goes to positive one goes to negative now the um, negative one is a 2.2k uh, resistor which is the lower one that you can see and the top one uh, which is the positive which is a 22k resistor now I don't know if you can actually see it uh, what I normally do is just when I've cut them off the uh, the roll uh, just colour code the ends so as you can't get it wrong because otherwise you find yourself continually actually um, reading the values of them unless you actually know the colour coding on which I don't. Right. So the first thing you want to do is solder the ends on the one side uh, just basically as so so you've got the positive and negative fly leads so the next step is to solder a fly lead on the um, the sensing side where you've just joined the two resistors and obviously uh, heat shrink but I will actually heat shrink the whole thing uh, when I've finished it right so I've soldered the um, the two uh, the positive and negative on there now the next thing to do is obviously you've got to insulate these very well um, now what I'm going to do is heat shrink the whole the whole lot just to completely insulate it from absolutely anything. There's your uh, your voltage divider and the next thing to do is um, colours are bad on this. Next thing to do is actually just um, obviously connect it up. Just a note as well this may be the point that you actually check your resistance on uh, either side your positive and negative because if you get it wrong it will give you erroneous readings. Solder the, the positive and the negative onto the TBS. I mean obviously you take it from wherever you can. Um, you can take it directly from your flight battery. Um, just solder it onto the positive and the negative terminals. It's up to you. It's just very convenient on the TBS that there's actually something there to solder to. So the next step is just to um, connect it. Oh, and incidentally as well, um, something which has been invaluable for me is a label. Where's it gone? A label maker. So quite simply, then all you do is you connect the uh, the voltage sensor to pin number fifteen. Hang on, pin number fifteen, and the current sensor, um, basically. Off the TBS, which you can't see, it actually is the wire. The wire goes underneath there, and it actually goes to the point that's got a voltage sensor on the actual TBS. Uh, sorry, a current sensor. So I've just taken a tap off that and plugged it directly into um, pin number fourteen. It's a shame you can't see it under there, actually. So we've got the voltage sensor wired in there. Now what I generally tend to do is put some um, uh, hot glue or something over there, some liquid electrical tape or whatever you you know what you can get hold of. And obviously tie tidy your wiring up. Right, I've got the BMP085, which is that one there, connected. There's quite a few wires on here. 